In this video, we're going to look back at the Antok Merrick X-Wing figure and my custom R2 SHW. Hello and welcome my friends, Darth Rock, back for something I've done before but I want to do again because I've, I've not been able to get Antok Merrick's droid R2 SHW, I think that's right. Um, so I had an old R2D2 laying around and just sort of painted them up myself. So this is my official first custom of my own. And I'm, I'm pretty proud. Um, and if I do ever get one, I'll um, just keep it carded because he sits in the ship anyway. So we're going to have a look over the X-Wing him and look at my custom as well so we'll probably start off with Antok do the droid and then finish off with the ship right here we are so we'll have a quick look at Antok um, this is card back sorry mime blank which is I had to open it. I needed them out <laughs> but yeah I'll show you a proper image of that anyway a bit of a cleaner look yeah, he's pretty neat. Comes with a wee blaster, as you saw. I need to adjust my camera. I'm so used to the six inch. There we go. He's on a box. <laughs> so yeah, it comes with a blaster. Just take it out. We'll have a look at that in a sec. Yeah, he's pretty good. Fits nicely in his um, ship. Some pretty cool, neat to be details. I always have, I have, his legs are weird. I just can never really get them good you yeah, know good figure on a lot it's a nice sculpt as well focus there we go I'm shaking him too much no oh, that's no better There we go, it's a bit better. Have a wee look, see at this helmet. Do, 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 my finger, that'll work. Yeah, it's a nice, oh, there it goes. Nice detailing to it there as well. Dirt here on one side. <laughs> yeah, the uh, the only f problem I have, the only issue I have, is how freaking loose that hat is. This helmet's so loose, but it is in the ship. It's not so bad, but yeah, very very loose. All right, so that's Antok Merrick himself. Now I will move straight in, and we will check out my custom droid. And here is my own custom R2 SHW. As I said, he's, I've just not been able to find him here, but I'm happy with this. I was an old R2 and I've just repainted. He sits in the X-Wing, so that really doesn't matter. It doesn't bother me too much. So I do need to sort of go over the red again. But yeah, it's just an old Force Link R2D2, actually. <laughs> Nothing special, but yeah. Should we look? I'll show you some images in a minute. Yeah, probably another another coat of red. <clears throat> Apart from that, yeah, I am I'm not pretty happy. <laughs> cool. Right, I'll show you a couple of side by side images here, so just so you can get an idea of what I'm going on about. But yeah, I think I did all right, considering I used, what was it? Acrylic painter pens. <laughs> Not too bad at all. But yeah, he sits nicely in the back of the ship, so that's all he really needs to do. Look the part. R2 SHW. Did I get it right again? <laughs> awesome. All right. Now, I will make some room 
and we'll have a look at the X-Wing and we will put these guys in it as well. Let's jump straight in there. Alright, so before we jump in and check out what it can do and stuff like that, I'm going to show you some nice, nice clam photos that I took. So, um, I'll let them roll now and it's just, and then we'll look at, um, obviously the wings and all the others ins and outs that it can do because it's got some absolutely beautiful detailing to it. And yeah, just such a fantastic job of this thing. Really, really am impressed. And um, my little customs, just a bonus as well. So, to let them roll, I can't remember how many you did. So, I'm just talking to the ship right now. And um, <laughs> so, yeah, as soon as those finish, we'll jump and have a closer look at the ship itself. Right, hope you enjoyed those. Um, so it's a lot bigger than your average review that I do. So I've had to adjust everything. So I hope it works well. So like you saw before, the weathering on it looks really, really good. Um, really well done as well. You got your um, three landing bits, <laughs> mind blank. Um, you, obviously your wings open, which we'll look at as well. Um, cockpit opens up. I'll show you more when we put the figure in. I'll show you more inside there as well as we go um, The missile underneath here. We'll look closer and this part here What I remember and I want you to tell me in the comments if you do as well, but When I was a kid and I had one I remember That this piece here this little bit here was a button for sound effects and it was cool I really wish they'd sort of implemented something like that with this as well. But if you look in here, you can see this sort of lever here. Push and slide. Push, slide, and then you get those X folds in a tap position. So that's those in attack position anyway, but the landing gear pushes them down, so push and put those back down again. There we go. Yes, yeah, so underneath, we've got this here, so that just slides up, closes there, and these two just slide straight up. Yeah, so this here, I'm not actually sure it's either a compartment or it's used for slowing it down faster. That's still quite cool as well. Close that back up nicely. And you've got the missile at the front here as well, which is a pretty neat little addition to it. It does shoot, but I'll lose it if I push the button, which is this little button back here. There you go. There's a bit of shot of that. And that just... Holds up like so. It sits here quite nicely. So yeah, very cool. Very, very cool. So happy to have one. It was such nostalgia. Opening and you know, putting this puppy together. It really did feel like I was a kid again. It was just it was an incredible moment. Check out that review. I'll try and link it if I can. So, bring that a bit closer. So, as you can see, that slot there, the Astro Mech, just a slot straight in there, like so. Bib, see, and he looks great. Does the job. One stand there. I'll readjust it and we'll um, check out and get Atok and Tok Merit in himself. Right, let's have a bit of a closer look at the cockpit. Pop that open, that does sit up, but I find it easier just to take it off. 
because it sits a bit funny anyway. So that's the inside of the cockpit there. So this piece here pops off. Which helps you um get them inside. It's a great, great cockpit. Let me look, see there, see, so yes, you've got the targeting computer which slides out from the back. It's just quite a neat little addition there. Just a bit of a look inside. Right. Right, so I find, <coughs> excuse me, is you basically get them ready first. There, yeah, so basically get them ready like that and then just slide them straight up, <laughs> push it down, and then just adjust them, sit them back. Look, the helmet's a bit loose, so I always put that on last. completely let go of the um, joystick, the flight stick. Right, there it is, the best as I can. And pop this back on, it just comes down and clips in. Lovely jubbly. Now he's ready, ready for flight. What we'll do now is I'll move it over, fly it over to my display where it goes, and um, we'll have a look see. Sorry for the lighting again. I need to um, get some new bulbs in here, so hope everything looks all right position and away she goes And that, my friends, is where it goes. I'm actually using a um, Transformers Grindel backdrop for it because it looks quite nice. So that's where it sits, that's where it lives. Again, absolutely awesome. Right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Again, this is an absolutely amazing ship. Really, really is. Chucky. I almost want to re-review him. Right, um, don't know if you want, but I can do, let me talk to me in the comments, tell me if you want to see that again, or a palace review, I did that, there's a couple of extra ships there, do have the land speeder, which is amazing, Emphy's Nest, and a force link one that I recently found, a little Emphy's Nest shrine, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that video, my friends. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and until the next one, give in to the dark side, and may the force be with you all.